If you don't know, I have lost 93 pounds while taking Manjaro for weight loss. Um, I'm not diabetic, but I was under that category, you know, I was obese, I had high blood pressure, and I had high cholesterol. So in today's video, I just wanted to talk about, you know, five things I stopped doing at the start of my journey that I really think helped me to finally have success losing weight. I have struggled over the years with my weight and probably like most of you that are, you know, watching my video right now, you know, I've spent years just about trying every diet uh, and then really in some cases successfully losing the weight to then gain it all back and then some. So these are going to be five things I stopped doing that I believe contributed to my success so far losing 93 pounds. And the first thing I did was is I sat down and I had an honest conversation with myself. Um, I thought about all my unsuccessful weight loss attempts and I realized that I was, you know, forcing myself to eat things I didn't like. I restricted foods. I ate very little while, you know, also doing high impact workouts and really it was miserable. Um, and you may be thinking, why are you doing this? That's an awful thing, you know, to rehash all that negativity and think of all the times that you gained it all back. And I like to learn from my mistakes. And I'm a person that I like to look at patterns of, you know, my behavior and why did I do the things I did? Because I didn't want to repeat them. I didn't want this to be, you know, some sort of like quick fix because every quick weight loss fix resulted in me gaining the weight back. And I really wanted to avoid all of that. And that was a major focal point when planning out how I wanted to approach, you know, this weight loss journey, this weight loss journey on Manjaro. Now, I know it would have been easy for me to say, you know, that all those failed attempts to maintain was really less about what I was doing and more about, you know, hormone Im imbalance or metabolic dysfunction. But even with something internally contributing to my obesity struggle, I have no issues admitting that I didn't do enough to help in any of those situations. And so when I started taking Manjaro, I didn't make it the re like the main reason, you know, that I was going to lose weight because when I thought about it, I've taken fentramine and I was successful at losing weight and I lost a lot of weight, but then I gained it all back. You know, I followed a lot of fad diets and, and gained it all back. So once I said that this is it, I didn't care how long, you know, it takes. I want this to be my last weight loss journey I embarked on. Um, and so the second thing I did was, is I took a look at what I was eating every day prior to taking Manjaro. Um, and also, you know, other failed attempts at losing weight. And I realized that it got to the point I was eating out at least once a day and sometimes even stopping to grab a snack or two, you know, for the afternoon or the evening. I had a major sweet tooth and I craved candy and chocolate, you know, fries all the time. And I had nothing stopping me from indulging every day. And I think a lot of that had to do with how I did, you know, handle, you know, there was some stressful times with, you know, family member being sick. There's a lot of changes at work with layoffs and just so much instability around me. I think in a year and a half, I put on about 50, 60 pounds. Even though I don't ever want to go back to a time like that, I do use that as a reminder that I am an impulsive and, you know, emotional, you know, eater. And I've worked really hard in that area over what the past, I feel like, like 19, 20 months. Because of that, I ate so unhealthy, high fat, terrible ingredients, and just not caring about, you know, what I was doing to myself. I felt horrible all day. Not, you know, I wasn't sleeping well. And, you know, even though like there was times where I was trying to work out, I was finding myself having to stop and maybe doing something like a little bit more low impact because my blood pressure was like escalating while working out. Um, I just said enough. I stopped eating whatever I wanted, whenever I wanted it. I made a list of everything I like to eat and I found ways to make them healthier. I stuck to those foods and I tracked, you know, in my fitness pal, I just focused really only on like high protein, a little bit on the lower carb side for a bit, just to see how my body would adjust. I also replicated meals that I would get out 
at, and I make them at home, like shrimp fried rice, you know, Chick-fil-A, you know, nuggets. And I said, no takeout unless I had no choice. And I don't think I had any takeout. I was trying to remember this for like the first two or three months. I just took my time each day to make sure I was eating the right portions, you know, upping my protein with each, each meal, you know, to try to increase satiety and just not force myself to eat anything I didn't like. Um, the next thing I stopped doing was just feeling sorry for myself for gaining all of that weight. I replaced, you know, being kind to myself with being unkind to myself with self-compassion and self-forgiveness. This helped me stay positive and motivated even when I was making mistakes because I wasn't perfect this whole time. I remember when I started on day one, I got the scale out and I said, this is going, I looked at it and I was like, this is going to be the highest weight I'm ever going to be. And then over the next couple months and years, I'm going to keep showing up for myself and really focus on my mental health and put that weight gain in the past. I was like, that pity party's over. I was just ready. Um, I try to take each day as it comes. I didn't know how um, I was going to feel on the medicine, you know, with, with the side effects. There's so many unknowns. But I then, I remember telling myself, I was like, well, I felt awful on a daily basis prior. So let's just see what happens. And I also had to be selfish and say, I'm putting my health first and the decisions I make are mine and should not have an impact on anyone else around me. This is my decision, it impacts me. I remember telling one of my friends that I was, you know, working on a like healthier lifestyle and building healthier habits and less of like, I'm embarking on another diet to lose weight. Once I changed that mindset, I, th I think something clicked because I feel like so many times I didn't get to, you know, enjoy certain moments because I was saying things like, oh, I can't eat that. You know, I'm trying to lose weight. I'm on a diet where in this case, I found ways just to make better choices with what, you know, the, what was at parties or at events. And I didn't say no to, you know, if I wanted a piece of cake, because now in this case, I wasn't eating that every single day. I was learning to kind of indulge on special occasions, which made it more fun in some ways. Uh, another thing that I stopped doing was focusing on that end result and how quick I can get there or comparing my weight loss to others, which I then came from analyzing other failed attempts that I mentioned before. Um, I was losing weight, you know, sometimes to fit into a dress for an event or, you know, before a big vacation. I focused, now I just focused on sticking to my plan, taking it day by day. I really tried to practice consistency with what I was eating, my gym routine, hydration, sleep habits, just overall how I was feeling. And I know I had tremendous success early on Manjaro. I was, I think, what do they call it? Like a hyper responder. But I think it had a lot to do with just staying consistent each and every day to my goals that I set. And I didn't say I wanted to lose you know, 15, 20 pounds in the first month or 30 pounds in three months. I really focused on controlling what I could and that was what I was eating. I tracked what I was eating and I did that really for like the first six months. I was aware of just how much I was eating and, you know, sometimes lack thereof and I made sure to make adjustments. Also, I started to really feel myself getting healthier, you know, each and every day and that's what I needed. It really... It really wasn't necessarily that number on the scale. I was just feeling healthier. And one of the worst things we can do, especially on Manjaro for weight loss, is you know feel down if somebody loses five pounds in the first month and you may only have lost two pounds. I think when I first started taking Manjaro, there really wasn't as much data out there. I mean, Zepam wasn't even around yet. And in some ways I'm very thankful for that because Originally, I feel like this wasn't pushed out as some quick weight loss fix that I feel like it is right now. And people are expecting to lose like 50 pounds in the first month, but I tried to stop comparing myself to others. And I really used any of that information, you know, from stories or postings to just assist. It didn't define my success. Um, and another thing I did was just stop caring what other people thought. I didn't care that you know, people knew I was taking this medication. 
I didn't care, you know, how I looked in the gym when I was in like the main lifting area and I was trying to learn as I go. I didn't care anymore. And when I decided to, you know, start taking Manjaro, I remember thinking to myself and actually admitting, I think for the first time, that I was embarrassed that I let myself get this overweight and that here we go again, another diet, another I'm trying to lose weight. And it was at that time I said, no matter how long it takes, I'm gonna keep trying. And I focused on getting better, like I keep saying, each day. I also didn't make a big deal out of this. As I said before, yes, I am on a weight loss journey, but it's more about finding, I guess you could say that inner healthy girl that I knew existed deep down inside. It was defining what healthy means to me and not anybody else. And this was interesting. This, I, I think this was like an interesting revelation for me because I'm a very confident, at times outspoken person. Um, I love to be surrounded by, you know, friends and family having, you know, good times and laughing. But until I started on this journey, I never really admitted that I was embarrassed at times by my weight. And no one cared in my family. I had amazing friends that didn't care, but I think I did a great job of just hiding how hurt I was um, that I was now obese. You know, they didn't care. So why was I consumed with something that didn't exist? And when I stopped doing that, I think I felt so much relief. It was like, you know, I lifted the weight off my shoulders that really in actuality, I was the only one putting them on myself. And the last tip, and this is a bonus one because I just realized I said five, now we're on number six, but I didn't let Manjaro be the focal point of my weight loss. I didn't let this medicine dictate when, you know, I would stop eating. I made lifestyle and behavioral changes from day one. Um, I let the medication just, you know, do what it needed to do. And I focused on that lifestyle changes, the long-term success. I know that Manjaro can, you know, you know, what, reduce appetite and satiety, but I wanted to adopt lifestyle changes that ensured my weight loss is maintained. You know, my health is improved and that risk of regaining weight is minimized. But when I stopped focusing on, you know, what the medication is doing with my appetite and focused on building, you know, healthy habits, boosting my metabolism with weight training or strength training, um, and, you know, walking every day along with just managing my, you know, environmental mental triggers. I believe this is what truly allowed me to find so much success losing weight. By stopping all of these things, I was able to see, you know, significant progress in my weight loss journey that I was defining. So what about you? Comment below if you've stopped any of these things that I've talked about in this video, or what was that one thing that you stopped doing that had a massive or positive impact on your weight loss? Let me know in the comments below. Um, and if you wanna learn you know, more about you know, my weight loss journey, you know, on Manjaro, now I'm on Terzepatide through Join Fridays, be sure to check out my next video where I'm taking you behind the scenes on how I'm getting back to basics. Um, and this video reminded me of just how far I have come. And I, I remember like how stopping these simple little things can have such a massive impact on my weight loss, 93 pounds down. But I wanna thank you for watching this video today. I'm gonna see you in my next video. <laughs> Bye.